Hey everybody out there, this is Modern Day Duelist, and today for you guys, we are going to be talking about the July 2019 ban list that randomly popped up on us. Uh, I thought it was going to come out at the beginning of the month, the end of the month, or at least after Worlds. Alas, that is not what, that's not what's happening. Now, personally, I felt this format that we passed had was, yeah, it had its problems, Every format does. There's no perfect format, but compared to the OTKs and FTKs we went through this time last year and you know all the way up till January, this year has been pretty good actually overall. There's a couple problem cards, but nothing that I would say absurdly needed to change. But Konami being Konami wants to push their new product, etc. etc. So let's go over this list and things of that nature. Um, some of these uh, hits I understand and I agree with. Some of them I feel like they did a little bit of overkill. Some ways I think they could have hit things differently. So let's get into this now. So the first card that got limited was Eclipse Wyvern. Now, I remember when this card originally came out actually, back in the Chaos Collide structure deck, back in I think it was 2013. Uh, this card was used in Chaos Dragons back in the day, and it's been used here and there sparingly uh, in multiple decks for a very long time. Um, I understand why they hit it, mainly for, you know, Dragon Rulers and Guard Dragons and stuff of this nature. Uh, but at the same time, I feel like down the road, this could easily maybe come back to one or two of um, two, three years from now. And people always tell me when I say that, oh, it'll never come back. Give it a couple of years. Your thoughts may change uh, once the combos and decks that used it have been power crept. So that's what I say. Rusty Bardiche is the other card that was hit. Kind of interesting that this got hit. I had a feeling they were going to probably hit it, most likely. But at the same time, I was wondering if they were going to do something else, like maybe Limit Fog Blade or something of that nature. And the reason I say that is because Rusty Bardiche was a GCG exclusive first before it you know, came out in the OCG, if I remember correctly. Um, and Konami has this tendency not to hit their TCG archetypes too hard or cards that they create too hard, which you kind of see later on as we get in this list, something that we'll talk more about. Uh, so that's the cards that were forbidden. Kind of surprised there wasn't a bigger forbidden list, but at the same time I understand. But they did do a lot to this list. They made a lot of big changes. So next up we have in the, let's see here, the limited section. Huh. This section. We have Altageist, Altageist Multifaker. When had Altageist done anything? When have they done something in the last couple months? When have they topped an event? I haven't seen an Altageist deck in a long time. Why did you need to hit Multifaker? I thought True Draco was the better engine as an anti meta deck. Multifaker? Yeah, I mean, it's a good card. Don't get me wrong, man. Like, it's a good card. I understand why you hit it, but. What had Altageist done? That's my question. That's my question to you. Did someone lose in the office to Altergeist and they just wanted to hit it? I don't know. A more, uh, let's see here. We got Black Dragon Collapse Servant and the White Dragon Collapse Serpent. Again, more Chaos Support hit, which I was hoping to build a Chaos deck. That's why I keep bringing this up. but. This is to hit indirectly Thunder Dragons. Whoop de doo. Um, yeah. Could this come back definitely in the future? Yeah. Like, not right now, but a year or two, three from now. Yeah, it could. Power creep, guys. Deck speed that you abuse it being less powerful. You get where I'm going with this. Um, we also have. I'm kind of surprised also, I'll mention this. Because I know people were talking about this for a hot moment that Red Eyes Darkness Metal was going to get banned. They didn't do that, which I found a kind of kind of thought was interesting. We have Salomon Great Gazelle. Thank you for hitting this to one of Konami. Now this is a card that needed to be hit. I completely agree with that. 
a hundred percent, um, which I think was needed to be hit, it, hit, and they did that, and good. Um, we have Tempest of the Dragon Rulers becoming going from banned to limited. This happened in the OCG, if you don't remember, guys. Like I think. Uh, not this past ban list they had, but the ban list they had before. I think it was in February or January of this past year. And it made people think, hey, Tempest may come off all list. And it did. Now, this helps a bunch of wind strategies out there. Helps the new wind birds, I think, that are coming out in the new set that we're getting, Rising Rampage, in a week or so. Uh, it helps Harpies, which is one thing I want to use it in because back in the day, when I played Harpies competitively, back in when Dragon Rulers roamed the Earth, um, <laughs> uh, you used one Tempest in your deck to help go for level 7 plays and it was just a good monster to have. So, this is kind of cool to see the Dragon Rulers back. It's something that you have to have them really like. This is why I say, cards always come back off the list eventually. Um, back in the day, people remember said, what, how many years ago was it? Like five years ago? Now? Four years ago? Oh, Dragon Rulers will never come back. They'll break the game. We have one Dragon Ruler back right now. There could be more to follow in the years and months to come. You never know. Um, this is why I always say that. Uh, next we have White Dragon Burster, which we talked about. Wyvern uh, for spells. Solomon Great Circle, limited. Okay. I think you really hurt Solomon Great a little bit too much, but I understand why. That's okay. But uh, I understand. I'm, I'm not a. I like salads, but I think they're still maybe playable, just not as playable. But eh, we'll see. Um, then we have Sky Striker multi roll to limited. Sky Strikers are not dead. They're not dead. This deck is so versatile, it will live. You still have three Widow Anchor, you still have three Engage. Is the deck list consistent though? Yes. Yes, it is. Um, do I still love the deck? Look behind me. Look behind me. I love Ray. Ray is life. Ray is bay. There's a reason there's a Ray deck box behind me. Thank you, John. Uh, next we have, uh, now these hits, I'm a little hesitant to talk about. We have Terraforming Limited, uh, and we have Light Stage Limited, okay? And we also have Metaverse Limited. Now let's talk about this right here. Let's talk about first Light Stage, and I want to talk about separately Terraforming Metaverse. Light Stage, again, I understand why you hit it. I get why you hit it. I understand all these things. All these things I completely understand and agree with why you hit Light Stage. But why did you hit it now? What has the deck done in the last six to eight months in the competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! scene. Hmm? The Drill and Lock Reincarnation combo is still a thing. Remember this. Drill and Lock Reincarnation is still a thing. And instead you decide to hit Light Stage. Months after the deck's been topping events like major events. Huh? Making me scratch my head a little bit there, Konami. Going, huh? Now, I, and we're gonna talk more about some stuff here, but now let's talk about something I really wanna talk about. Terraforming and Metaverse being limited. I don't know how to feel about this. So let me go on here a little bit, like one or two minute tangent here. I get why you hit it. I get Mystic Mind is a deck. Why didn't you hit Mystic Mind? You could just ban Mystic Mind. You did it with Chicken Games. Why didn't you do it with Mystic Mind? And instead, you decide to do what the OCG did and limit Terraforming and limit Metaverse. You know this just doesn't, and this is where I get it. You have to understand where I'm coming from with this as a person who builds decks and just in general has played Yu-Gi-Oh for a long period of time, you've literally killed, for the most part, every, every field spell based deck that has existed. You've killed a lot of them. 
and I mean a lot, it really hurts a lot of decks. Now, people will say, as a counter argument, well, most decks nowadays can search their field spells. Granted, I will give you that, but it doesn't take away the fact that this hurts so many decks out there indirectly. And I don't mean just meta, I mean tier 2, tier 3, fun decks. It hits so many decks. For what reason? Because field spells have gotten better? Or because Mystic Mind is a deck? I'm still trying to comprehend this and wrap my hand around this after 24 hours. Oh, less. Well, it's been less than 24 hours as I'm making this video. It's been more like 18 hours. I'm still trying to wrap my head around this. Because terraforming, yeah, okay. Metaverse 2? That seems more like a Mystic Mind thing. Why didn't you just hit Mystic Mind? Come on. You know, I mean, eh, you're going to hurt all these other decks. Like, think of how many field spell decks are out there that can't search their field spell. Are we going to go back to the days creating monsters that can actually search field spells? Because that's the only thing I can see happening. Because you slow so many strategies down to a crawl now. I don't know, Konami. Like, I think you missed the mark on this, and I think you have to fix this eventually. Because, I, eh? Like, I just think you could have done a better job. I'm disappointed on this hit because I heard so many strategies out there indirectly. And people may talk about that, people may not talk about, people may just talk about Mystic Mind, which is the reason probably they, they did this now. But you could have just hit Mystic Mind. You didn't have to do this. Come on! Like, that's the... Hmm. I'm disappointed. I feel like you could have done better with that. Alright, let's go into the semi-limited and limited, which... and unlimited, which I can say for semi-limited cards, this is the most I've seen in the semi-limited section in a long time. People used to say and joke about the semi-limited section no longer matters in Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, uh, Konami just decided to put a reprimandum on that and change that up. So, <clears throat> was limited, now semi-limited, Chaos Emperor Dragon to two of. It's got the errata, but still, that's a little scary. Uh, danger, okay, all these dangers. <laughs> danger Nessie, Danger Jacko, Danger Sukinoko. All right, cool. Um, I can honestly agree with the dangers archetype being semi-limited, um, especially these particular dangers. Uh, if you guys don't know, I've said this before and I agree with it, dangers are a problematic archetype. If I look down the road of Yu-Gi-Oh! two, three, four years from now, and dangers are still played, there's a problem with the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Dangers are kind of like an upstart goblin with a body, in some way, shape, or form. And I feel like for the health and benefit of the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! going forward, they are a problem, and something needs to be done. And they did something now, so... Something. So we'll have to see what happens, but uh, I know they mainly hit this for danger Orcus, danger this, danger that, and I'm happy about that. But yeah. Uh, next up we have Ether the Heavenly Monarch. Was semi uh, is was limited, now semi-limited. Yay! More monarch support. Yes. See they bring structure deck stuff back after a couple years. Uh, Stratos whew, was limited, now semi-limited. Okay, the OCG did this. Now we're doing this. Airblade Turbo is going to be meta again. <laughs> nah, it's, I mean, it's good. Go, 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 hero players. I'm happy you get double Stratos. I'm happy I picked a whole bunch of Stratos recently because I had a feeling this was going to happen. So I have like 20 Stratos from the new recent Battles of Legends set because I was like, okay, well, eventually it's going to go back to three of. I want multiple play sets for all my hero decks. Um, next we have Dragonfly. Oh, how I hated this card seven years ago in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, how I hated this card so much. An Insecto, Sector, Wind-Up format, a uh, Dino Rabbit format. Oh, oh. oh, I hated this card, but I'm happy it's going back to two because I can't wait to rebuild the deck. Now can we just get Zen Carrier back? Come on, Konami. Um, next we have, maybe that means we're going to get new Insector support. Don't know. Uh, where else we have? We have Performer Plage Damage Juggler, back to two of. 
that's awesome to see. That means a Utopia deck profile is coming for you guys very soon. And then we have my favorite part of this entire ban list that literally negates everything Konami has done. Royal Tribute to two of. If you guys don't know me, Grave Keepers are my favorite deck. And Six Samurais are number two. So seeing support for these two archetypes come off the list is very gratifying. Especially Royal Tribute, which I have been petitioning for probably since it went back to three of in the OCG three years ago. Thank you. Thank you, Konami. Now give me a playset. <laughs> I'm so happy about that. Now we let's go to the unlimited. Quill Pulse Scout. Cool. Lustra Pendulum Dragon the True Draco Slayer. Hello, Pepe format. Uh, tri uh, Trishula. Luckily, Inf <laughs> Infernity Loops are no longer a thing with this card. If you remember those days, I feel bad for you. Dark Hold of Three of. Holy sweet baby Jesus. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. You told me this five years ago. I've probably been crying. Um, Monster Gate. Cool. Rekindling. Yes! Fire Kings. Fire Kings. And a whole bunch of other fire decks. Yes. Uh, let's make Quasar great again. Uh, Super Poly to three. Really, Konami? Really? We're going down that road. All right. If you say so, I don't agree with that. That's kind of spooky. And solemn judgment to three of. It's not played anymore, but the fact that you can use three judgments to negate anything kind of is scary. If you don't believe me, go watch a freaking Teledad deck profile or watch a Teledad duel. You'll understand why Three Solemn Judgment is pretty scary. At one, eh. at three. Oh, and a Counter Fairy deck profile probably coming soon. Yeah, baby. <laughs> go cast Solemn Judgment. But tell me what your thoughts are on this deck list. I know I wasn't like super excited because I was at locals. Uh, doing my job and uh, ban list comes out so what happens everybody comes in to ask me about the ban list call me asking me if I have these cards so I kind of knew about the ban list the moment it dropped and so I didn't have a chance to really do a live reaction so I do apologize about this but tell me what are your thoughts on this ban list I think overall in conclusion it's a pretty good list I'm pretty happy for it the only gripe I have I said is the terraforming metaverse thing which I feel like we could have handled that better. Besides that, I'm A-OK -okay with this list. Tell me your thoughts down below, though, guys. Until next time, take care. Have fun dueling. Good luck dueling. I'll see all you guys next time, and tell me your thoughts down below. Take care, everybody. I'm feeling like I'm torn apart. Like I might be nothing. You believe in all these scars. On everything you touch and. Got me like, whoa, oh, oh, oh.